Hey everyone, welcome to Tathas 2. I hope you all are doing good and we all know Chandrayaan 3 has been a success. So, congratulations on that. India has become the first country which has reached the southernmost point of the moon and the place where our Tiranga is situated has been renamed by the Prime Minister of India as Tiranga Point. And after conquering moon, uh, ISRO's next target, ISRO's next target is Sun with a new mission called Aditya L1. So, we are going to talk about this Aditya L1. What is this Aditya? So, this word Aditya is a Hindi word of sun. That's why Aditya and L1 is, we'll talk about L1, okay. So, broadly we have discussed about the news that on the heels of success of Chandrayaan 3, the space agency of India, ISRO, has been planning with a new, with a new mission, Aditya L1. And this new mission, uh, India Space plans to launch its first space observatory for solar research in September to study the sun's atmosphere. So, in this September only, up within 15 days actually. This second big mission is going to be launched in the, uh, in the month of September. There are few important tidbits, few important facts for your prelims uh, examination. So, let us have a look on this. First of all, this is the first space based, sorry, this is the first space based mission to study the sun. Okay, this is important. Secondly, the amount of distance it will cover, it will be around 1.5 million kilometers from the earth okay this particular thing this uh, aditya l1 and it will be carried by a rocket called pslv okay in tathastu also you will get a pslv uh, for your prelims examination for your prelims preparation okay let's move forward what is aditya l1 mission so aditya l1 is pri is pri aditya l1's primary objective is to closely observe the sun and gather the insights into the Corona, solar emission, layers, solar winds, coronal mass ejections. Okay, so most words are self explanatory like flares, solar winds, solar emissions is the heat which gets out of the sun and it moves into the space. And this, uh, coro this corona is the outermost surface of the sun. Okay, so the satellite is equipped with seven advanced payloads. Of these scientific endeavors for this scientific endeavor these are equipped with seven advanced payloads and to be specific so what it what are, what is the criteria of this seven payloads so four carrying out the remote sensing of the sun and three of them carrying in situ observation okay so this this four is divided into four uh, seven is divided into four is to three the mission promises round the clock imaging of the sun and enabling an unprecedented understanding for its behaviors and impact because right now because of eclipse solar eclipse or because of few other things because of the because of few other uh, atmospheric reasons we don't have a clear picture of the sun for a for a consistent time period okay for 24 7 we don't have that picture we don't know how the sun reacts in certain positions at certain point in time with this specific uh, Aditya L1, we will we'll be having those information. It is said that we, we might have those information. Okay? Now, the mission will be launched by ISRO on L1 orbit, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the earth, as I have told you. And the orbit allows Aditya L1 to look at the sun continuously. Okay. Now, what is this L1? So, L1 stands for Lagrangian. Lag range 0.1, one of the five places in the Earth Sun system's orbital plane. Okay, so this is a particular place. This particular place works as a parking lot where these satellites go and they get placed. Why? We'll see this. So, this lag range points are the locations in the space where increased areas of attraction and repulsion are produced by the gravitational forces of two body systems. What are these two body systems? One is Earth, one is Sun. And the gravitational force of these two body system, they produce a certain condition where these particular places, these particular objects, they can go and they can stay there in an efficient manner. Because the fuel which would be required to stay there, the energy which would be required to stay there at that particular place, at that particular space, it would be more convenient, it would be more efficient. Okay, That is why it has been said that it is a parking lot in space where if you have to study sun, other uh, observatory, other space observatories, other space agencies have also sent all these uh, missions and they are also placed there. Okay. <coughs> the main benefit of having a satellite in the hollow orbit around L1 is that it can continuously see the sun without being blocked by the clouds or experiencing eclipses. Okay. 
सोलर एंड द हेलीस्पेरिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी सेटेलाइट सोहो इट इज ऑल्सो नोन बाई इट इज ऑल्सो नोन बाय द नेम ऑफ सोहो इट्स अ प्रोजेक्ट बाय नासा एंड यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी इट इज ऑल्सो लिक्विटेड एट द पॉइंट एट द एलवेन पॉइंट ओके द सेम पार्किंग लॉट टू सी द सन सो दिस इज द स्पेस वे आर ऑल द स्पेस एजेंसी दिस एंड देयर सेटेलाइट नाउ वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर आदित्य एल वन सो दे आर ब्रॉडली टू सिग्निफिकेंस दे आर ब्रॉडली टू थिंग्स वन इज सोलर इन्फ्लुएंस एंड अनदर इज स्पेस वेदर इम्पैक्ट ओके द इम्पैक्ट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ स्पेस द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ वेदर हाउ द वेदर गेट्स इम्पैक्टेड विद द बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्टार बिकॉज ऑफ दिस सन ओके सो वन इज सोलर इन्फ्लुएंस तो द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ एवरी सेलिस्टियल बॉडी इंक्लूडिंग द अर्थ and the distant exoplanets of it okay so specifically the earth it is intricately linked to the parent star and sun's earth's parent star is sun okay so the sun's weather and environment have a profound impact on the entire solar system like every other planet every other planet is being closely related is been closely attached to the sun which is around its solar system okay and the solar system in our solar system sun plays that important role and because this weather and this environment have a profound impact on entire solar system then it will be having that profound impact that significant impact on the earth also okay, so this is the first point second is space weather impact now variations in solar activity can disrupt satellite orbits can disrupt the satellite orbits it can damage the electronics it can trigger the blackouts on earth and it can induce disturbances on the earth and because of this the accurate knowledge of solar events is essential for comprehending and for predicting the weather phenomena if you know the weather phenomena if you know the problem if you then only you will be knowing its solution okay and to identify the problems you must have some sort of uh, prior knowledge for that and to prepare for that particular problem okay so these kind of thing they, they provide you that prior knowledge to the things okay so the accurate knowledge of solar events is essential for comprehending and for preceding predicting the space weather phenomena okay let's move on now what are the other missions to the sun this particular slide would be important for your prelims and not only for your prelims but they can also be quoted in your mains examinations as examples like aditya l1 has done something if something has been asked about this so india is doing something like this and there have been instances there have been examples where other parts of the world other agencies of the world have also been doing something and there could be a comparative analysis okay so this slide is important in that manner nasa's parker solar probe it aims to trace how energy and heat move through the sun's corona and to study the source of the solar winds acceleration so it broadly works on two system this is nasa this is america's parker solar probe it aims ki ye jo energy hai how it moves and how it goes through the sun and it also wants to study the solar wind the the way the movement of the sun the way the solar winds are associated with the planets with the exoplanets around it okay? it is also a part of nasa's living with a star program that explores different aspects of the earth sun system as if told you and as we have discussed that for every solar system for every planet it is important its relationship with its nearest star is very much important and to understand the relationship between sun and earth this whole project has been launched helios 2 solar probe now this is also one solar probe and it has been jointly ventured by one by nasa and another by a space agency of west germany so it was a time period of 1976 when this particular program has been launched and this was a time of cold war 1945 to 1991 this was a time of cold war when the whole world was divided into two ideologies when except us except the ones who were the part of nam non aligned movement okay we are, we are the smarter ones we have always been the smarter ones here so in it was the time when broadly the bigger part of the world was divided into two parts uh, communism capitalism and all those things and the germany was also divided into two parts east germany and west germany so the west germany and the nasa it was their uh, combined effort it was their combined thing which led to the this helios 2 solar probe and this is also the time when uh, there were times when usa and ussr they were fighting on on the land uh, and 
their headquarters to fight on was some sometimes it was africa sometimes it was north korea sometimes it was vietnam and when they were done fighting on the earth there was space race okay there was this uh, moon landing then there was the first person who went to the space and similarly this part this happening uh, this particular event is also the part of this uh, particular space war which was happening in the cold war era okay and that was another thing uh, but uh, we discussed some sort of ir also third third thing is third example is solar orbiter a joint mission between the esa european space agency and nasa to collect the dat data that will answer a central question of a heliophysics like how the sun creates and how it controls the constantly changing space environment throughout the solar system the form not only the formation it will this particular aditya l1 and all these missions with aditya l1 will not only uh, get the information of the uh, of the beginning of the sun but also the formation of the earth and the relationship how it has been as we have discussed thrice in this session also only that it is that there is a intricate relationship between the star and the planet okay? so how is this sun closely related to earth and what are these ways what, what what are those informations by knowing this we'll be able to know the weather the space weather and the weather phenomena on the earth also okay this is it this was aditya l mission which is going to be launched in september we discussed it very briefly again congratulations on chandrayaan 3 and let's hope for the best with aditya l1 thank you so much